G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines, uh, and it's an exciting day for us today because we get to take out Northside Marine's new demo craft. It's a Staby craft. Mark Golden, this is an exciting boat for you guys, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. This has been one of the most exciting releases of a new Staby craft in many years. Um, this is a true walk around. We'll certainly have a look at it as we take it out on the water, um, but there's just nothing like this on the market for, for fishability. Um, you can fish, it's rated to eight people, but you can actually fish, you know, six, seven potentially guys off this boat at any one time so quite unique in the market for just just really the versatility and just the layout that this particular boat offers so yeah very exciting it's the uh, it's the 2250 center cab and it is it's a lot of boat for your money it's a lot of boat that you can put on a trailer uh, give us some of the specs the, the trailer ability and what we've got pushing it yeah, well, we've got the Yamaha 225 uh, V6 4.2 litre on the back of this. Uh, pushes it at speeds over 70 kilometres an hour. Um, yeah, heaps and heaps of torque for this particular model. Uh, running 300 litres of fuel in the boat and well over 1.3 kilometres per litre, so really good range. Uh, we've just got it on a Redco trailer, you know, really easy to launch and retrieve for, for such a big boat. Um, so yeah, all around, this is actually still something that, you know, anyone without too much experience can still manage. Now, run us through the theory of the Stavey Craft Boats. They're a unique looking hull, but they pride themselves on ride and stability. Um, it's under the 2.5 metre width, isn't it? So you can legally tow it without the oversized signs? Well, it's actually right on that 2.5. So in order to ma maximise the walk around on this particular boat, uh, they've gone to a full 2.5 and it still gives it a really, really good ride. Um, the, the 360 life ring on all Stabby craft is really where it gets its name and its stability and, and safety. Um, but yeah, haven't compromised anything in the ride to get such a sort of a wide boat in a, in a 6.9 metre length. Now, a lot of people might be a little bit afraid of towing a boat that's this long. Uh, what do you need to tow it and what weight does it come in on the trailer? Um, it's just over two and a half tonne fueled but with no gear so uh, we've got it sitting on a 3.2 tonne trailer and really if you had anything with three and a half tonne towing that's going to easily do it. We're doing it with the Land Cruiser today um, but yeah really any of the new vehicles that have got three and a half tonne towing would easily pull this big big boat around. Now let's talk about applications. You said you've uh, been out playing with this thing in the bay with you know up to six or seven people on it and the fishability is actually really good with that number of people. That full walk around really makes a difference doesn't it? Yeah, well, absolutely. It gives you so much fishing area on, on this particular boat, but we've also put a, a Minn Kota Altera on the front. So with the use of that, we can really sort of, you know, position the boat exactly where we want. Uh, and I was just out the other day fishing seven guys off this boat and, and just amazing that you can do that in a trailerable boat. Now, usually with demo boats, you put some extra fruit on them. I know there's a big Simrad in there. Run through the electronics in this boat, but also some of the other features you've ordered. Um, well, we've got it in full paint, so just as a demo boat, we want to display this boat. Uh, got a full metallic paint. Obviously, I just mentioned to you that the Min Coda, the Simrad electronics package, comes with Fusion stereo. Um, we've basically kept it reasonably standard just to sort of showcase what this boat comes out with. So we haven't gone too overboard, but um, certainly presents beautifully well. So. And we've all seen the Stabycraft promotional videos of them in some really nasty country, yep. uh, in, you know, in cold weather in New Zealand, hunting and fishing, and some great promo stuff they do. But we're in a tropical climate here at the moment. It's the middle of summer right now. Yep. How does this thing go ventilation-wise? I know there's some big opening windows there, but yep. have you, when you've tested it, has, has it been nice and cool on the water? Yeah, absolutely. The, the good thing about their windows in all Stabycraft is they're very far forward. They try to maximise the airflow to the driver and passenger. So you'll see that uh, when we're out on the water shortly and it's a nice hot day today. Um, but yeah, I think the, the cabin itself gets a lot of airflow. So really, I mean, it is a hot climate that we live in and, and we've got to put up with that, but it's no hotter than any other cabin. So. Yep. Well, there we go. It's a great looking boat. It's definitely turning heads here at the ramp this morning. Let's get it on the water. We'll come back to you with a full report.
Well, there you go. It turned into a really great afternoon on Moreton Bay to test the chops of this uh, 2250 Stabby Craft Centre Cabin. It's a, it's a boat that, uh, that is, I suppose is a dream boat for a lot of keen, keen fishermen that want to get out there, stay on their boat, live on their boat and do all of the lifestyle things that boys love doing. Um, it's eminently trailerable. It looks big and it sounds big, but uh, at around three tonnes fully loaded on a trailer, uh, most of your twin cab utes and larger four wheel drives are gonna tow this thing, no worries at all. Um, the way the guys at Northside Marine have got this one set up for a demo though is really cool and a lot of the small things in this boat make you think this is this has really been designed by a fisherman like I really have fallen in love with this bait station at the back. It's the first bait station I've ever seen which has a leader dispenser in it of a couple of different strengths. Um, also that live bait tank is accessible through the cutting board in that bait station. Um, it means that your rods, your sinkers, your bait, everything's really compact and you don't have to go running all over the back of the boat uh, to get into the water and into the action. Um, from the walk around point of view, the maximum beam of this boat, it's, you know, it is maximum, it's two and a half metres wide. It allows you to, uh, to nearly walk around the front of the boat without sort of having to shuffle sideways. And when you get up the front of the boat, right up next to that uh, Altera Minn Kota, you've got you've got well used space around the uh, around the anchor most pla by the time you get to the anchor in most boats you can't stand there this has turned it into a small casting platform and with that rail sitting high enough at the front you can actually stand up the front cast and fish all the way around this boat uh, as mark says you can put a lot of guys on this boat to fish um, on the inside of the cabin uh, this is a new zealand boat it's built for nasty conditions and it's very comfortable on the inside it's got a really big solid hard top uh, it's got great ventilation through those uh, forward mounted windows uh, and and the cabin itself, even though it's lost a little bit of width due to that, uh, due to the walk around configuration, it's got some great little fold out uh, extensions to the bunk so that you can actually lie down and sleep a full grown man on each side. Uh, at the helm, uh, that digital throttle and shift powering this Yamaha 225 horsepower, really responsive and uh, the pitch on the prop means that when you hit the hammers on this thing it literally jumps out of the water. Uh, when you're quartering uh, and at really slow speeds especially it does throw up a little bit of water at the front, no worries if you're in the cabin but if you're up the front throwing lures at Tudor, my legs, legs a little bit wet but as you trim this boat up and get up on top of it you'll find that it's quite trim sensitive uh, and it gets up on top of those waves and runs as always for Stabby Crafts very very smoothly for an aluminium boat like I challenge you to get into a Staby craft and not be surprised at how soft these things run. Of course stability at rest that's one of the big things about the Staby crafts uh, those wide pontoons they're safe and they keep you nice and flat on the water so it didn't matter that the three or four of us were on one side climbing in and out of these boats uh, we found that it was a great uh, great balance between ride and stability. Economy wise, uh, at 3500 RPM, this thing did 42 kilometres an hour and you got 1.35 kilometres per litre and that was the best uh, best economy and the best cruising speed. Now with the 300 litre fuel tank, that gives you uh, around 400 kilometres of theoretical range and I challenge you not to be able to get into trouble in that uh, with that sort of capacity for a weekend on the water. Wide open throttle, around 70 kilometres an hour and the Taco hit 5700 RPM. The economy though, really goes down when you do that, get about 800 metres per litre burned. Um, I think that uh, as tested, this boat comes in at around $162,900 with the nice digital Yamaha gauges, the big Simrad and all of those options that the guys at Northside Marine are going to love when they're out on the water. But if you want to get a base package and build it up your own way, packages start from $139,000. Make sure you like Northside Marine's Facebook page on Northside Marine, your boating partners for life or www.nsmarine or northsidemarine.com.au, both of those domains work. So until next time, Steve Morgan had a great time here in the demo, Stabby Craft 2250.